Hello, this is Ute from Ute Sauber Beach Corner. How are you, my friends? Today um, we are talking about nettle. Here we have already dried nettle. And sorry, I dried all of them, so I don't have any fresh nettles at the moment. But I will show you what you can do with dry nettle. First of all, I try my best with this machine here, the grinder. And I just want to put some of the dried herbs in there. You can go ahead and grind them a little bit so it's better for the tea. You don't want to have such big leaves in your tea. Or you grind it a little bit stronger and then you have powder. So I know I'm not the best person in Technic. So let's try it. It will be amazing. And what I miss, you don't, there's no window, so you don't know, is it now a powder or is it already for a tea? Let's see. Oh, as you can see, it's a powder. <laughs> kind of. No, it's not right. It's a powder. A little bit longer because, as you can see, it's not a full powder. So let's try it again. Again, kind of a mess. So try it longer. Check it again. Now let's check it again. <laughs> it's a magic green dust. Wow, so it's still not done. So what we have now here, because I don't want to, oops, maybe I should unplug. Because I don't want to have the whole video just with grinding the herbs. So I would say, as you can see, maybe two, three more minutes and then it should be a powder, a nettle powder. So what can you do? So with a, with this one, you still see the dust, you can make yourself a delicious tea. Or we take it like it is right now, crunch it a little bit and it cannot sting you anymore because it's already dry. You know what? Let me grab something here. Easier to fill it up in the mason jar. So as I said, it cannot sting you anymore. And you have, you can even touch the fresh nettle, but there's a certain way you have to touch the leaf that it's not stinging you. So what are we doing here? I would say we make a nice oil. We are using always, as you see, golden olive oil, high quality, and you have the best results. And out of the oil, you can also make a cream. So the oil, the infused herbs in oil are always usable as an oil, or if you put some, there's a lot of oil going in there, or you can make a cream out of the oil. But as always, it takes about hmm, six to eight weeks until you can go ahead and work with the infused herbs. So here we have the oil. And of course you need to label it, shake it. And this is the oil 
and it has to be in, as I said, six to eight weeks in darkness. So the next what we can do, and we again use the dry nettles. And this makes my life easier to fill the jars. And you always fill it up nearly to the top. All the goodies. And what I'm making here is a tincture. And you can make a tincture with alcohol. So we infuse the herbs in alcohol. Or you can make a tincture out of glycerin. Glycerin is very, very sweet. And you cannot use it for any herbs because alcohol is stronger and put all the, the goodies out of the herbs. So I'm using here vodka. And like I did with the oil, you just fill it up until to the top of your mason jar. And always you have to label when you do it on your home on your on your own put a label on it what is in there um, what herbs and the date when you made it and six weeks later you can put the end date and then you can use it but as I said six weeks in the dark spot and every day you have to say hello my herb shake it a little bit and bring it back okay you always talk to your herbs or not okay so now we have here the tincture and this will be the oil <laughs> yeah and this should be then the powder what you can do with the powder is you can make your own pills. These are the empty capsules. And there's something like I always say my machine. It's a pill making machine. Not really. It's everything is um, not electric. And then you have to get the pills, separate them, put them in there and then the powder and then more or less you can make with this machine you make a hundred pills at once and if you're interested um, just ask me I can give you the information where you can buy this because when I started I had a little machine for the pills with 24 pills and you're sitting there and filling pills for hours <laughs> to get um, amount together so what is the use for nettle hmm nettle is used for medic as a medical plant as you can see um, for UTI infection for um, rheumatic disease. It has it, or it's rich on minerals like calcium, magnesium and potassium as well as iron and silicon. Plenty of vitamin A and vitamin C. So the nettle is considered to stimulate the metabolism to diuretic. So draining, it's washing all your toxic stuff out of your body and promote blood circulation, release allergy symptoms and improve the quality of life of allergy sufferers. That's what I have, as you can see here, on the finished tincture. As you know, I always put I always put the put the main reason I think is important for this product here for the nettle and the main reason here are the bottles, the big ones, and then I fill them up is allergy. It's helping with allergy symptoms and I have to tell you Ken just yesterday started <laughs> using our not the tincture he used the capsules stinging nettle capsules and guess what he just took two of them and he said this morning he woke up no stuffy nose no headache no feeling the hair. he was really said wow it works and I said yeah I told you before <laughs> But as always, he needs to try it on his own. And he uh, said, yes, of course, it's working. And I'm so happy. So what is the end product when we use our nettles here? We have capsules. We can make tinctures. We make teas. We make the oil. The oil is, for example, for celluloides. And the cream, what I'm making out of the oil, is for allergy rushes. So allergies again. I don't think it's strong enough for poison ivy. That's, that's I don't want to say. Um, it moisturizes the skin and it definitely helps helps you with psoriasis. 
So we have again five products, one, two, three, four, five, out of one herb. And if you want more information or you want exactly the measurements, shoot me a message and I'm more than help than happy to help you with any information. Or if you want to know where I get my tools I'm working with, I can give you the information. So I guess this is it. No, I don't forget it. <laughs> I am your master herbalist. I am not a doctor and I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. All the information we are sharing here in our videos are our own experience from friends, family or customers. All right. So I think now we have everything. <laughs> um, oh, no. Oh, my God. It's too hot today. I was outside harvesting, as you may can see all the uh, no, you cannot see. I was harvesting um, lemon balm, um, tons of lemon balm, and I, I'm looking down there because I have it still there. I have mint, tons of mint. I even have, uh, what's it called for the caddy, for the kiddies, um, <laughs> the cats. You know, I have a brain. My brain is just stocking right now. Yeah. Catnip, thank you, cameraman. Catnip and yeah, some other goodies. So I was totally working today outside and it was really, really hot. It was kind of nasty. But still, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave us a comment and be surprised every week and every Saturday around nine in the morning. Um, Ken is loading up the newest video. So you are always on the uh, when you click this bell, so it ping when we have a new video, so you don't have to look. Does she has a new one? No, it makes ping, and you know, oh, important. There's a new video from Udo Serval Rich Corner. All right, okay, that's it for now. Um, bye bye, ciao ciao, love and light. This was your Ute from Udo Serval Rich Corner. Ciao ciao.